Hello and good morning from a very cold and foggy Campbell Wharf Marina in Milton Keynes. I am delighted that we have with us Trevor from Trev's Travels by Narrowboat. And this is going to be a completely unscripted conversation. And if the internet goes, we're both relying on the internet gods. If it goes and then it goes that that just happens so i am um gonna switch the chat off while we have the conversation then switch it back on um at the end for any questions i just don't want to get distracted by all the lovely hellos and the the chat so i'm gonna do that now not that she knows how to do i it. don't know how to do it okay in this r down the bottom let's no no, I, I don't know how to do it, so I'm going to leave the chat up there, but try not to, to watch it because I really don't want it to distract from our conversation. So, hello, Trev, and thank you so much for being my very first podcast guest. Yeah, well, thank you for asking me, Lisa and Glenn. No, this is absolutely, no, I feel a bit spoiled. <laughs> I was actually going to bring along, I was going to print off a picture of a guinea pig and put up instead of me, but uh, I couldn't, I don't have a printer on the board, so I couldn't do that. <laughs> oh, that's true, because when I spoke to you on the phone uh, the other week, I said, Trev, will you be my guinea pig? And you very kindly said yes. What can go wrong? Who else said that once? Oh, lots of times. <laughs> Have you ever watched Top Gear? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, shall yeah, shall uh, but we welcome we from a very sunny and bright oh. rugby. <laughs> <laughs> You've got the sunshine. Mm. And we're not far away, are we? Rugby to no, no, Keen. not at all. No, yeah. So, Trev, tell us about your boat, the boat that you're in right now. And can you tell us um, the name, the length, and wh where where you are on the canal network? Yes, I can. Right. My boat is called Albertine. It's an ex-rose hire boat. And I believe Albertine is the name of a rose. Oh. So I've been told. I didn't know that until somebody else told me, but um, I'm told it's the name of a rose. Uh, yeah. The boat is uh, 60 foot long. Uh, cruiser stern, um, powered by a three cylinder Lister engine, and it used to have gas radiator central heating, being a higher boat, which is now I've taken out, and I have a solid fuel stove, which anyone's watched my channel will have seen that. Oh, uh, are and you I'm actually more? currently moored at rugby? Brilliant. Are you nice and warm, Trev, with your, your stove? Freezing cold, <laughs> look, I need my coat on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, um, it's 20.9 in here at the moment. So it's uh, tropical. So yeah. it's not exactly cold. Nice and warm. <laughs> and how long have you owned Albertine? I bought the boat on the 22nd of February, I believe. Uh, this year? I think that was the date. Yeah, this year. Just oh, before lockdown. Wow. Then. Wow. Just before lockdown. I was living in America on the 29th of January. I oh. flew back on the 29th of January. Really? So really? Have, mm. so I didn't realise it. So it's been less than a year. I, I, yes, yeah. Wow. So. Had you ever lived on a boat before? Not lived on one, but um, years ago, a uh, good friend of mine, Bill Ede, whom I'm not sure is still on the network. I haven't been able to find him anywhere. He used to be on a boat called uh, Maybe, that's M-A-Y-B-E-E, 40-foot -E, Springer. Was it Braunston? I've looked around this area and I haven't been able to find him. I don't know if he's still on the network. I used to be on his boat all the time. And I've travelled most of the canals that were open back in the day around England and Wales and everywhere. Been at the Clangollan a couple of times, been across the Leeds and Liverpool. 
back in those days, like the peak forest canals weren't open. So I haven't been on those or the standard tunnel or anywhere like that. So those are to be done yet. Are you wow. planning to are you planning to go out more to do cruising, yeah? Oh yeah, yeah. That's yeah. I, I cruise Glen the most I cruise most of the summer. I, oh, I, yeah, I don't yeah. cruise every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So how so being <laughs> Being your first year on the boat, can you tell us about how you how you brought her? Because you were in America, so did you find the boat while while you were in America, or did you do that when you came back? I did it when I came back. It's not that I didn't look at boats when I was in America. I was on the boat, you know. All the I I searched them all for for a long time. Just really to get to see what was out there, prices and what sort of money I needed. So it was a case of holding on to my house until it would be big. <laughs> I could sell it and buy a boat. <laughs> so, here's a boat. <laughs> so that, that's, that's what I planned. But, um, I came back and my brother took me around a lot of marinas. We looked at places, Wilton, and went all the way down to. Wiltshire and different marinas. We looked at boats, and um, most of them, what you see on the internet, are not exactly what you see when you get there. Yeah. You know that were yeah. my price range. Yeah, and it's this funny, one, isn't it? Oh, on, oh, did you? Did you? Mm. Oh, fantastic! We've actually sold a boat on eBay. Our previous boat we sold on eBay, and it went really quickly. So, so. Was it quite a quick fight? Did you find her quite quickly or did it take some time? Oh, oh. Lost, oh lost a bit of sound. Oh. We've lost you a little bit there, Trev. Have you? Okay. Oh, oh, you're, back. You're, back. you're back. Back in the room. Can oh, you good, hear good, us? Good, good. I can so. indeed. I, I never lost you, so I assumed it was my stream. But oh. it, it disappeared. It went back on. So I assumed oh. it came back on. Okay. Yeah, you never know what you're going to get with a mobile internet. No, you but, never um, know. Yeah. That's the joy of boat life. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty, no. No. <laughs> no. So I, I use that because it's cheap. <laughs> <laughs> you, you just got out there for a second. Did you find your boat quickly, Trev? Was, was it like quite quickly after you came back? Well, I got back here, I think it was the 30th of January. Mm -hmm. And I, I moved on to the boat on the 22nd of February. Oh. So, going, so that was yeah. that was not bad going. Um, did you have a particular style or type of boat in your head? And did Albertine match that when when you went to see her? Yes, I did, and no, it didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I the, my my tell, I, I my intentions were I didn't want a cruise of stone because I just thought that was a waste of space at the back. On the other hand, I was looking at boats between 45 and 50 foot long. Right. Well, Albertine came up at the right price yeah. at 60 foot long, so it allowed me to have a cruiser stern. Right. Uh, because obviously I've got I've got loads of space inside for a single person, you know. Yeah. And um, actually, I'm actually rather pleased I've got a cruiser stern now. Yeah. Last lockdown, I was back, I'm actually on exactly the same mooring I was on in the first lockdown. I'm really... just pointing in the opposite direction. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where, where do you think you're going to head to, Trev, once once lockdown eases? Well, that's a difficult question because, <laughs> number one, I don't know when it's going to ease because I just heard this morning yeah. that rugby is going to be in a tier three. It is. You're right. It is. So that should mean I can't move still. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I didn't think of that. Um, are you on a winter mooring where you are now or no? No, I'm on I'm just on the, the rugby's regular moorings, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't pay for moorings if I can help it. Well actually no. I've never paid for one and I don't intend to. Okay. Um I'm quite happy to move every couple of weeks if I have to. Yeah. 
Excellent. And actually, I normally move a lot more frequent than that anyway, so it makes no difference to me. No. You know, I've been I've been along a lot of the network, and I've only been on the boat for, a, say, a few months, as you know, and half of that, I've been in lockdown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I've been from... I, I, well, I, I bought the boat, actually, from not very far away from here, um, at Hill Morton. Okay. And I, and I went from Hill Morton up to up the Bronson and up the up, um, the Leicester line to Fox and Ox, but Fox and Ox were closed at the time. They were you know, when they're doing all those repairs. Yeah. I went up to Welford, came back down, went down to Stoke Bruin, uh, came back up and went down the um, well, gee, was Northampton Arm, right to Northampton. Moored up near where your old marina was. Yeah, <laughs> just yeah. up the top of the lock there. Um, stayed there for a week. That was that was when was that? That was around my birthday time, I think it was. Yeah. Well, I can't remember that. Yeah. Anyway, I went to my parents, they're in they're in Wellingborough, so I went and saw them for a bit. Um came back up the Northampton Arm a couple of days later. <laughs> I'm glutton for punishment. <laughs> yeah, uh, awesome. then I came back up this way. I went uh, um, Oxford to the Coventry Canal, up the Coventry Canal to Faisley Junction, Faisley Junction went through Birmingham, came back down to Birmingham, Worcester, then to North Stratford, back down onto the Grand Union, then through uh, Warwick, came down through Warwick, back down onto the South Oxford, and went down to um, uh, uh, Lower Hayford, right? Turned oh, around yeah. and came back up again. <laughs> I mean, so I've done quite a lot of cruising there. Quite a lot. <laughs> that is actually amazing, considering that we've been locked down for most of the year, and you only picked your boat up at the end of February. So hats off to you. That is impressive. Um, yeah. Can I ask? I, and I do everything single handed as well. I oh, know that's amazing. That is amazing. I, I'm not sure we're not up for that, are we? Well, the Northampton locks obviously they are singles, but it's a uh, it's still a lot of locks in one day. It's a it, uh, it's a uh, seventeen, I think, isn't it? Seventeen from yeah. Three. I didn't, yeah, I didn't manage all seventeen going down. Um, I well, the, the weather wasn't very good. I got to lock twelve or thirteen just after you come under the motorway going right. down, and it was hell storms. Uh, there's a hailstones coming down, and and it was a thunder and hailstorms, and I'm thinking, no. and it's getting dark, it's starting to get dark. No. I'm stopping here, so I actually more the night on the lock landing. I yeah. didn't walk in more at the end of the lock landing, but there's um, more, more, you could still get into the lock if you wanted to, because that's one where there's a lift bridge. There's no, loads of room there anyway, so yeah, right, I know. But, uh, I, yeah, I was naughty boy in all the yeah, lock landing. It has to be done. To be honest isn't with you, it? there's not a lot of mooring along the um that's between the locks down that's down that's right. There's not a lot where you can get onto the side nicely. No. no. Can I ask Trev? No. So you no no. <laughs> so you've um so this is your first boat. What has it mm -hmm. lived up? To, to your expectation so has living on a boat been everything you hoped it has been or has it been a different experience to what you imagined it has been better oh, oh excellent I, I can't say no more it, it's, it's better better um, i had certain expectations as we all do but um yeah i just i i can't see me ever living in a house again really what uh, do you just enjoy the been on the water the freedom the freedom yeah the freedom, freedom. it's a beautiful you know, I, if, I, if i if i don't like my mooring what do you do you move on and just, let's face it on the canal you only have to move 100 yards and it's totally different yeah absolutely <laughs> absolutely it's just so 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 just different. love it what has been the hardest thing that you've um experienced you know yeah what has been the hardest thing would you say the hardest is probably finding shops mm. yeah food yeah. shopping right i don't own a car so um uh, you know it's okay I'm here this is one of the reasons why i actually came back to here and moored up for the lockdown because mm. tesco's is 
person. I've got to remember now, when I point that way, by the way, that's the wrong direction because uh, the camera's inverted, isn't it? It's the wrong way. Yeah. So it's actually that way. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. It's hardly useful. You let your head yeah. one way, I put my head the other way. You know? Yeah. I've, I've, I've got a question. Oh, you've got I've a question. Got a question. Oh, question. Oh, go on then, Mr. Warner. So, um, how have you managed? Because I know you had a bit of a, te uh, a technical hitch last week um, with your batteries mm -hmm. and that. Have, have you had many, many um, problems, you know, mechanical or with the boat at all? I've had a few, but most of them have been sort of nothing serious the the electric problem wasn't actually the batteries in the end um i took it to a marina not far away from here i uh, can't say enough of the guy yet um i forgot his name there rue at amada i took my boat there I, well i called him up and he said bring it along the, the day after sort of thing and the 12 volt supply to the negative side of the uh the bus bar we couldn't even find where it's coming from. And the, all the cables run into it were the tiniest, like, almost speaker cables. Oh, really? <laughs> There's just never enough power into it. So I don't know how it ever works. I really mm. don't. So he ran a new cable to the um, negative side and uh, bus fixed it. So it was nothing really serious. Well, the seriousness was I had no electric. <laughs> You know, I thought the batteries were shot because the batteries were reading like 10.2 volts and things like this. But it wasn't. It was just the meter reading 10.2 volts because right. when, because it was uh, not getting enough draw through. I'm really so I surprised. A multimeter and put across the batteries. Yeah, I'm really surprised on that with being an ex hire boat as well. You'd have thought the electrics would have been really, really good. Yeah. Well, I guess it's 34 years old. I guess perhaps oh, yeah, yeah, uh, back yeah, in the day, they didn't expect yeah. more than a light bulb to be plugged in, you know. Yeah, probably. It might have had a bit more yeah. of a re refit since then. Yeah, I think the electric's probably not. Oh, yeah. really? There, oh, there's yeah. been a few niggly problems, but nothing nothing what you can say. I, I think, actually, at the end of the day, for what I pay for it, I've got a good deal. Brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. For home. Yeah. Yeah, I've got I've got um one more question and then what I'll do is I'll ask anyone who's watching if they've got any questions for you, Trev, as well. I've seen a few go down. Oh, so I, rem I remember a couple of the questions. Okay, so okay. Uh, brilliant. Well so, done. Yeah. Well done. So I've still see them, but I Unless I do this, I can't read them. Yeah, <laughs> no, right. don't, don't, worry, don't you worry. Don't you worry. I've got the glasses on so I can read them. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. What canal are you looking forward to to getting on to i know you've done a lot of the network so it might be the fact that you're revisiting a canal that you've been on or it could be a completely new one but what are you looking forward to mm, i'd like I've, i really would like to get up onto the peak forest canal i've never been on it before right so up that way the peak forest and the others that are up that way i've never been on the colden canal and things up that way I've never been on any of those canals, and there is one I I will I really want to do, and that's the Lancashire Canal. Ah, okay. I know it means doing the Ripple Link. Ooh, <laughs> I've seen a few of those. I don't know if it'll be next year. <laughs> yeah. I've watched some YouTubers do that, and to be honest, we watch them, and I say, "Glenn, no, we're not doing that." So it that really scares me, but <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm I'm not good on rivers. Yeah. So that's brilliant. Can you remember any of the questions? I can remember some of the questions. There was a couple of questions. I can't remember who it was from. But someone asked, um, um, do you miss living in America? Um, I miss the people. I had some yeah. good friends there. As a, I probably shouldn't be saying this. But as a country, I didn't particularly, I, I found that, I don't know, I didn't fit in very well. Okay. Perhaps it was just the area I was in. Um, I didn't really fit in very well. A few good well, friends and that was it. But most people looked at you and, and really didn't like the fact you were there. Oh, okay. So, that was but, a good um, yeah. I did we live in a, a, um, shall we say a rural area. And right. the, some of the rural people in the, there just... Um, you know, I mean, if I was in a city, it probably wouldn't have made any difference. Right, small town. But a city life's not for me. 
No. Yeah. Were you there a long time, Trev? 15 years. Oh, a long, long time. A long yeah. time. So, yeah. um, can you think, did you see any other questions? Uh, let me have a look. Yeah, but you can scroll up. Can't oh, let, yeah, let me have. Um, oh, brilliant question from Judith here. Do you ever get lonely with being on your own? Do you know what? I'm less lonely living on a boat than I was in a house. Really? And I'll explain why. Yeah. Especially living in America. I lived in Illinois, south, wow. just 70 miles southwest of Chicago. This time of the year, you're lucky to see temperatures above freezing. Right. And, um, and that's daytime as well as nighttime. You know what I mean? Yeah. A couple of years ago, it down, got down to minus 28 at night, <laughs> which is a little bit chilly. Yeah, a little <laughs> bit cold. A little bit cold. And... Um, and Weekends, I'd go, I'd work. I work Monday to Friday, and I'd leave work at four thirty on a Friday, go home. I possibly wouldn't speak to anybody or see anybody until I went back to work on the Monday morning. Right. So okay. that, that's you know, so you get fairly lonely sort of thing. That yeah. yeah if you got as a TV here. What do you do here if you um if you feel like you want to stand out on the bus? Someone will walk by. Someone <laughs> will walk by. Bar. Yeah. yeah, there's always somebody to say hello. And yeah, you get to know all that, the voters around, you know. You yeah, do. And it's, a, it's, a great, it's a great community as well out on the cut. Um, Alan's asked yeah. a great question. Um, what will you both do when your boats need a repaint and blacking? Where will you stay overnight? So On the boat. Yeah, you can actually stay on your boat. A lot of... Um, places you can and you can paint the boat yourself can't can't you mm -hmm. so um yeah. we we went and stayed at glenn sisters when our boat was yeah well, out because it was a, it was in a dry dock and they had three boats in the tunnel and you weren't allowed to run anything and it was winter as well so we had to stay off the boat for five days um which was not a hardship really it was you know if i had to if i had to if i if i you know it, it would I, I'm probably not next year. The year after, I should probably get my boat blacked. Yeah. Um, and if I have to stay off the boat, because you never know, it might be price orientated. What where you got to stay off your boat might be half the price of somewhere where you could stay on your boat. So obviously, perhaps go there. Um, I can probably, I most certainly would be able to stay at my parents' house. Yeah. And so, Glenn, Trev's parents live near me, mum. Oh, wow. uh, yeah, yeah, they live in Wellingborough. That how yeah. unbelievable is that? I noticed another. Que I noticed another question down there was was um, do you work? Do, do you yeah. work as in a job? Have you got a job? YouTube. <laughs> is, that, is that your job? Yeah, that's that's uh, and. I I was going to say, can I say if anyone hasn't checked out your channel, we'll we'll definitely link to it and uh, to check out your channel. You also do amazing cooking videos as well, don't yeah. you? As well as life on board. Yeah, it's, I've I've, did, I've just got a poll up at the moment on the cooking videos because um, I've been doing my twist on English classic ones. I don't know if you. I put a yeah. poll. Oh, yeah. Do you want me to continue doing the English classic? Start doing soups. Or spicy food. Well, I looked at the poll this morning. I'm going to end it tomorrow at noon. And the poll this morning is 43% for continual classic and 43% for soups. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, oh. I must be doing a poll. <laughs> that's, that's it. I'm just going to have a. Someone um, said about is, is it true about loads of spiders? And it is true. I mean, I don't know about you, Trev, but we have we're, not at the moment, but we have, we do have a lot of spiders. Yeah. No, I don't actually. Really? Yeah. And, and lots of people tell me that they have lots of spiders. And I, I said, perhaps it's because I'm always moving. Yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, we have lots of spiders. Unfortunately, they don't bother me, but some of them are like, what? They don't bother me. They are. So I think yeah. I think we should call it a day now. Thank you, Trev, so much for being my first or our first guest and our, our guinea pig to um, try this out. I've 
absolutely really enjoyed our conversation. So it's been good fun. Yeah, it has. And everything worked, didn't it? So um so that's excellent. <laughs> yeah, it seems to be working fairly well and uh, say I don't have the best internet in the world, so I was always a bit suspect. So, but yeah. Um, yeah, it's worked. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for inviting me. Oh it's, no, uh, it's oh, been, been fun. Yeah, and thank you to everybody watching. I'm so sorry we couldn't like answer you all or get to all your questions. We will get better at this. This is this is my hope. We'll get better every week, and um, you know. Yeah, it should become a really interesting conversation finding out people's narrow boat stories. So, thanks, Trev. Thank you. 56 people watching, is it? Oh, yeah, that's not that, yeah. yeah, it does. Yeah, it's not too bad at all. I'm just gonna say hello to Sue. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, thank you very much for inviting me, and um, I'm sure we'll meet, meet up one day. Oh, that would be. I was actually heading in your direction. I was going to pop by and say hello, but of course, things happened and that didn't happen. <laughs> oh, well, hopefully, we'll meet out on the cup very just... soon. Yeah. Trevor. Yep. Cheers, See you later. Bye, bye all. Bye, bye. And of course, what have I got to say? Trevor out. <laughs> Trevor out. <laughs>